Hi everyone, welcome back to Maximum Attack Rallying. Big news, two pieces of big news. Firstly, I can actually speak this week, which is a step up. We've got, still on the lem tip, but my voice is working a little bit better than it was last week. So that's progress. However, the biggest news, the big news is that I think, I think Peugeot actually watch my channel. Peugeot have listened. I had to check this. Two years ago, it was two years ago, I wrote an article on Instagram saying that we needed a Rally 6 category, so a proper entry-level, proper Group N-style class for rallying, something below Rally 5, dead simple. And it looks like, it looks like Peugeot must have been watching because it appears they have listened. So, over the last few days, Auto Hebdo, a French uh, magazine and website, has reported that Peugeot are testing a new version of the Peugeot 208 rally car, and it is reported to be a Rally 6, a proper entry level of their series of rally cars. So, a uh, bit of background, uh, Peugeot is part of the wider Stellantis group of manufacturers, and obviously they are big contributors to rallying. So, Peugeot have a Rally 4 version of the 208. We have a Rally 5 and Rally 4 version of the Opel Corsa. We are about to get a Rally 4 version of the Lancia Ypsilon. And of course, we have the Citroen Rally 2 program. So lots and lots of rally cars within the group. I think this might be one of the most exciting of the lot though. Uh, we don't have too much information right now. So the car that tested uh, was it at the Rally Corps de France over the weekend. It was a, running as a course car. Uh, it was Jordan Burfer was behind the wheel, as I understand it. We don't have too much information. So the, uh, I'll put what little footage uh, I have, which is from Auto Hebdo. Um, it looks like a Peugeot 208, very hard to see. It's just in a matte black wrap with some sneaky lettering on the side saying 208 dot 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 uh, uh, so it's 208 r dot 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 question mark wasn't it um not giving too much away it looks like it's got a similar roll cage to the rally 4 rally uh, 5 type cars um but according according to the article it is going to be a more basic specification than that uh those full spec rally 4 uh cars and rally 5 cars because rally 5 cars are quite complex so they all have sequential gearboxes and all that business this car is reportedly going to have an h pattern gearbox of some kind don't know if that's going to be a dog engagement short ratio thing or if it's just going to be a uh a standard gearbox with a diff and a short final drive we'll have to wait and see there but the fact that it exists apparently according to the article they're targeting a price of forty thousand euros it's, it's got to be good news, hasn't it? It's got to be good news that they're looking for a cheaper alternative. Uh, we don't know if this is going to be an official FIA category. Don't know if FIA at this point are planning an official Rally 6 uh, across the spectrum, or if this, this is just something that Peugeot have done off their own backs uh, for national use in France. I have contacted Peugeot. I have contacted the FIA, but I'm yet to receive any clarification on that. Obviously, as soon as I do, I will let you know. But isn't it exciting? I'm really excited by this. If they do it, proper H pattern gearbox, if they can get the price below 40,000 euros, the, uh, the test cars on steel wheels to keep the costs down, I think this could be really interesting. And if, if I hope to God, uh, this is a proper FIA initiative and we're gonna see a full, fully fledged Rally 6 category, that could be a major step in the right direction, could open the doors to far more one make championships across Europe, maybe we'll get something in the UK, you know, because it's still Antis, because of this wider program, maybe we could see Rally 6 versions of the Corsa, of the Lancia, that could only be good news, couldn't it? That could only be good news because it just makes FIA rallying that little bit more accessible. So I'm very excited to see what happens, very excited to learn more about the car. As soon as I find out, I will let you know. Isn't it exciting? And the most exciting thing is that obviously Peugeot must have watched and listened to me. That's definitely how it worked. That's definitely, definitely what happened. Anyway, going to leave it there. Just a quick one because I just wanted to share this exciting piece of news. As always, do like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you again on Thursday for some more exciting news. Thanks for watching.